Okay, so I'm going to do access cavity preparation of mandibular first molar. After studying the preoperative ridge graph, analyzing the pulp chamber, I'm now ready to drill. I'm using a round bur, number four round bur, and start drilling at the center. Okay, don't forget to measure first the distance from the cuspid to the group of the pulp chamber. Okay, since I have enough depth, I'm now ready to change my rounder into a small one with a long shank. I have changed my rounder into a long shank and it's now smaller so that I can easily fill the drop in. Okay, I'll start drilling again. Okay, that's the drop in. Okay, now I'll move towards the distal. Also towards the mischel, vocal, and lingual. This is how you ungroup it. Follow the long axis of the tooth of your round bird. I have changed my long shank round bird into a bigger one. Okay, and then I'll start unlooping again with an outward stroke. Try to feel if there's some cut using this one. While you're still feeling it, just continue with the use of this round bur outward stroke. So now I have changed my burr into a long tapering fissure burr. So I'm now going to smoothen the walls. And diverge it towards the open top. Okay, so try to feel if there's some steel pot in all the walls, if none. So, look for the canal orifice first using your end explorer. Okay. Once you have located it, you can feel the cut. I'll tell you that's the cut. Okay. And then you can start. In this case, since this is typodon, they have recommended the use of size 15. So I'll go here, Mishobokal, then Misholingual, and then this one. So now you have completed the access cavity preparation of mandibular first molar. Thank you.